the Endwalker special website has been updated with a ton of juicy new information, and so let's dive right into it. The first up is one of my most hyped up items that I'm very excited for, which is that they are talking about the Island Sanctuary now on the website, which we did hear about in the Endwalker showcase, but wasn't really being put out there that much on this kind of site and that. But reading the website, it says, after hard days adventure, come and relax in your own personal paradise. That's going to be very important, own personal. So it's like your own little piece of content where you may let your minions roam free and while away the hours to your heart's content. Which I think is like such a neat explanation, just a neat type of content to see in an MMORPG. It's just like, whoa, this is like totally different genre in it. Which to say the absolute least, I am beyond excited for this. We have seen gardening in this game, we have seen housing, we have seen personal housing. And honestly, I feel like getting Harvest Moon Animal Crossing vibes. And I've heard so many good things about Harvest Moon Animal Crossing, but I've never actually had the opportunity to play it. At least the not the recent games. Like I remember as a kid that I did play the super old Animal Crossing that I think was for the GameCube if memory serves me right. I still for the record hate Tom Nook so much. I hope that I got the name there right. It's like the raccoon guy that like takes all your money. <laughs> But to say the least, I am actually waiting on like bated breath to hear more details about this. It is a system that I think, especially with how creative the Final Fantasy XIV developers are, actually has so much potential. If you were talking about some other game studios, I might be like, mm, I don't know if it's going to really live up to expectations. But with the 14 developers, oh my god, we've seen housing, we've seen gardening, we've seen how elaborate these systems can be. A especially the minions, oh my god, we have so many different minions. And if you have ever played Lords of Your Minion, you know that the devs have a lot of love for the minions. So. To say the least, so much potential, but we are going to need until need to wait until November 5th live letter till we actually get details, but I'm here and I'm fully listening. I am hyped. Next up is that they add a data center travel system here to the website, which to say the absolute least is something that me and many, many others want. And is this necessarily new information? No, the developers have made it extremely clear that they've intended to do this for a while now, but based on past articles that they have put out, we've heard that it's mostly just a hardware supplying issue, and with a global semiconductor shortage, that makes things a little bit tight here. Plus, with the exponential growth of players lately, I think that it might be better to hold off, but I don't know necessarily if that's impacting it at all. But either way, I want this so bad. Data center travel is like one of my highest highest wanted items because I want to play with so many of you but we can't just because someone's on like a completely different data center and so I'm glad that's very much on the table um we haven't gone any specifics on this if it's like just going to be region locked data center travel or what it is but they just have it in general and I'm just really happy to see it at all here mentioned now the next piece of information is the new housing districts that we were working on during the Isgardian restoration event through Shadowbringers which has been finally unveiled it's called Imperial which is absolutely fancy as heck. I love that name, Imperium. It just, it just sounds regal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stupid, I know. But since I play the Bard and we use this skill called Imperium Arrow, does this mean that I get first dibs? Right? Right? Now what they had to say on their website about this was, following the successful restoration of the firmament, a new housing district has been constructed in Ishgard, its name invoking the zenith of the heavens, the realm of untold radiance. In recognition of their role in ending the Dragonsong War, adventurers from far and wide are invited to take residence and bask in the city-state's newfound glory. Which as someone who loves Heavensward, like I am literally like the biggest freaking fanboy for Heavensward that you will find, like I literally looked at Dragonsong War the ultimate and I'm like I I need this but like just seeing this and talking about all that it's just oh my god I'm I'm actually so excited for this I'm legit like fangirling over it and plus I know other people are because it's just like I know how much y'all love houses and we're getting more houses which is gonna be fantastic the next thing is that with the trust system we're finally getting Einstein wearing blood to our party which is gonna be super neat and for those who love the trust system I know that you're gonna be super happy about this we are finally getting our dragoon but I don't think that he's gonna be a floor tank Einstein is not known to be a floor tank I mean yes I know it's actually Estinian but I needed to say Einstein because I remember when I first saw him, I'm like, oh, that's Einstein. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to have Einstein join me in my parties. So from here, the rest of the article is really talking about stuff that we kind of already knew was coming. So it's not really a big impact, big surprise. Like we knew level 90 was the new level cap. We knew more crafting recipes and the like were on the way, as well as the brand new Oceanic Data Center, which is going to be extremely exciting for those who want it. Me, I'm in Canada. <laughs> so I'm just in my data center. I'm on the big G, the Gilgamesh, which I love so much on Aether. 
but of course I do want to say like these are amazing things and of course they're gonna be fantastic but we did know about these things so it's not like oh my god to say the least super amazing and you know that really does it for this recap so let me know in the comments what you actually think so are you hyped for the new housing the Imperium what about the island sanctuary what do you think like island sanctuary might be in it I'm still not a hundred percent sure what it is so I'm actually dying for information on it Anyhow, that's really it for this video, uh, not a long one, so just take care everyone and have a beautiful day.